I want to show you how you can make some extra income by building your own Google Chrome extension using ChatGPT. No programming knowledge required. You don't even really have to have an idea. ChatGPT can even help you with that. First off, I wanna just look at how much money you can potentially make from a Google Chrome extension. I have a list here of some popular Google Chrome extensions. These are all made by indie developers, which means they're not a company, but it's just some random people that put something together. We have GMAS, which is making $130,000 per month. Closet Tools, $42,000 per month. CSS Scan, 100K a month. And these are more complicated ones. These would take you a while to build. But some of these, Night Eye, all it does is turns websites into night versions. It really wouldn't be that hard to build. And they're making 3K a month off of that. A weather extension. I bet you we could spin that up in like an hour. 2.5K per month. Then, of course, if you can create an extension like Adblocker, $3.7 million per month they're making from their Google Chrome extension. So again, in programming, you can do this on your own. You don't need ChatGPT, but I'm coming with the assumption that you don't know how to program. Your skills lie somewhere else. That's what I'm coming with the assumption with. So we're gonna go over to ChatGPT. And let's say I want to make 1K a month. And what I like to do is I like to start small and then you can work your way up. So I want to make, let's say $250 per month with a Google Chrome extension. Okay, and for the purposes of this video, I want it to be super simple, something that I could put together very quickly. Can you walk me step by step through this process, then hit enter. So what this is gonna do is ChatGPT will break this down into steps. So let me just write down the general steps. Number one, step one, identify an idea. Step two, <laughs> learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. One thing you need to know about ChatGPT is it doesn't tell you, sometimes you have to massage what they tell you based on your previous knowledge like, I'm gonna probably skip this step because I know some HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Also, you can have ChatGPT give you the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, so then you wouldn't need to learn it. But let's I, step one, identify an idea. Let's do step two, create the extension. Step three, test the extension. Step four, let's say release the extension. Step five, monetize the extension. And step six, we'll say market the extension. Okay, so we need to come up with an idea. Okay, and I always make sure I'm really polite with ChatGPT just in case she or he, it, they become sentient. Please, pretty please, come up with five very simple ideas for a Google Chrome extension. Something very easy to build, okay? And again, we start small, we can work our way up. Here are five ideas that it gave. You know what? word of the day, I'm gonna do Bible verse of the day. Look at that, then I can combine entrepreneurism and God's word, I love it. Okay, thanks, always be polite. I decided I want to build a random Bible verse Google Chrome extension. Please walk me step by step through the process of building this, please. Be very granular. Do you guys know what granular means? Define granular. Resembling or consisting of small. So basically it just means like very fine tuned. Okay, that's what granular means. Please be very granular and show me exactly what I need to do. The more detail you give ChatGPT, the more, the, the better they will give you. So define the extension, okay? What I want the extension to do is when a user clicks on it, it just pops up a random Bible verse. Easy enough. Okay, so set up the development environment. Make sure you have a text editor. I like Sublime Text, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that. Create a folder structure. So I'm just gonna do this in the desktop. I'm just gonna do new folder, okay? So new folder, and I'm going to name it Random Bible Verse Extension. See, it even gives you the name. And that's a very James Pelton name, random Bible verse extension. I started a business that sends out mass text messages. And when I named it engineer mind mobile text alerts. All right. So create the extension manifest. 
So you don't even really need to know what this is, but this is basically what tells Google Chrome, hey, here's what this is. So we're gonna just copy this code. You Again, you don't even need to know what's going on here. This is obviously the name. If you create new versions, you can put it here. The description, this is gonna be the HTML file that pops up in the browser. These are icons, which we could maybe create later. You see how each of the extensions has its own icon? We can probably find a free icon that we'll use there later. But let's go ahead and create manifest.json. I'm just gonna paste in there and save as manifest.json. This is kind of a good way to learn as you're going to, because you might say, what's a JSON file? And you, hey, what is a J you could ask it in chat GPT, what is a JSON file? And if you wanna learn about that, you can. Here's an article, what are JSON files? How do you use them? For now, not gonna do that. I don't care about learning. I just wanna make money. That's just a joke, by the way. All right, so next, create HTML and JavaScript files. So again, we're creating popup.html. That's what our manifest file says is going to run. So we need a popup.html. And I'll just put what popup.html fetch a random Bible verse. So now we're going to use some JS. That stands for JavaScript. So again, if you're a programmer, you know what JavaScript is. You've probably heard of JavaScript, even if you're not a programmer. Again, if you want to learn JavaScript, you can do that. If you want me to teach some JavaScript on the channel, let me know. Happy to do that. Let's go ahead and create popup.js. And for now, it put in kind of two sample, at least the beginning of two sample Bible verses. So there's a couple ways you could do this. We could go to the internet and have it pull in a bunch of Bible verses. You could just type some verses that are your favorite. That'd be easier. We call that hard coding. For now, while we're just for demonstration purposes, we'll just leave what they have here. All right, so now load your extension in Chrome by going to Chrome Extensions. So I'll do this in another window here. Go to Chrome Extensions. So this shows all of your extensions. Then we're going to go into developer mode because you are a developer now. Congratulations. You can add it to your resume. You're a web developer now. And then you're going to click Load Unpack. Then we just need to go to the folder, the Random Bible Verse Extension, and select. Okay, and it actually gave an error. So again, this is something ChatGPT didn't see. So sometimes you have to massage what's going on, but what it, the problem is it could not load the icon. So if you remember in our manifest, we gave it these icons that it needed to download. And apparently Google Chrome won't let you load the extension if, you don't, if those don't exist. So it's looking for images and it's not finding them. So let's create a new folder here. Let's do images and then let's search for free Bible icon. So then you might have to look around a little bit to find what you're looking for. I like this one, download. So I'm gonna say, I like this one. So I'm gonna just save image as. Then if I do end up selling this, you probably need to create your own or make sure it's in the public domain. And if you do get stuck, you can just copy and paste the error and just say, hey, it is giving me this error. And it'll tell you exactly what's wrong, what you need to do create icon images. So you do need a 16 by 16, 48 by 48, and 128 by 128. And then let's say, how can I generate those icons? See what it says. So it wants me to draw my own. There we go. Let's do, here, we'll do favicon generator. So basically this will take an image and create the icons, the right sizes that we need. So let's do free Bible icon. Let's say we like this one. So I'll go ahead and save it and create favicon. So we'll find this one and then I will save it. And then this favicon generator needs a PNG file. So can we do icon.png? We'll choose icon.png, create favicon. Download the generated favicon. So you can see this created a whole bunch of icons. So now ChatGPT, which I'm assuming they're right, they say we need a 16 by 16, a 48 by 48, a 128, are the three we need. So did we get those? We got a 16 by 16 here. Send that one over. We got a 16 by 16 here. So let's send that one over. Icon 16 by 16. And then we need a 48 by 48, which did, made one for Android, so that's fine. Icon 48 by 48, and then a 128 by 128, which it didn't, oh rats. So it didn't generate one that size. You could use just like Photoshop or something, but I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible. Let's just use this 120 by 120, and I'm sure it'll look okay. Okay, so we got those three now, and then we just need to make sure our manifest file matches those. So I actually named it 16 by 16, 48 by 48, 
and 120 by 120. Again, I hope that, I hope it looks okay. 16 by 16, 48 by 48, 120 by 120. So again, those are the dimensions. So I used a 120 for a 128 image, which means it'll stretch a little bit, but I think it should be fine. So let's go back here and do retry. There we go. So it is there. Okay, and the first thing I see is there is some, there are some errors and it says manifest version two is deprecated. Deprecated just means that it doesn't work anymore. So again, you could look up why that is, but you could just say it is telling me, let's see what ChatGPT says. So it's just saying go to manifest version three. I think everything else should probably be able to stay the same. So let's try reloading that. Okay, and this error is saying that this browser action, so ChatGPT is a little outdated, so it's using some older code, but it basically just says we can delete this browser action part. There you go, so now there's no more errors. So there you go, we just debugged an error that ChatGPT gave us. So now when you go to extensions, these are all the extensions I have, but random Bible verse will be here and I can pin it and now it is up here. So let's see what happens when I click it. Okay, and nothing's happening. And so again, this is a debugging situation and I didn't look closely at the code it gave me for the manifest version three, but you can see if I put them side by side, what I'm missing is the action default pop-up because that's what actually pulls up our pop-up.html. So I'm gonna put that in there, save it. Then let's go back here, reload. And then I forgot to change these back to the weird naming convention that I used. So I'll save that, refresh. Okay, and the problem here was that these are actually in the images folder. So see, development is a lot of just trial and error. ChatGPT can help you with most of these, but I just knew what the problem was on my own. So now let's try it, click it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So we now we have an extension. See, I click that and it puts up a verse and it's gonna put up one of a random one from what you put in here. See, this time it did, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. And now it's here. So again, in this, I've got this random Bible verse generator. Leave a like if you want me to continue this series. Do you want me to show you how to get this onto the Google Chrome store? We can create a website for it. We could start making money with it. We could sell it. We could do ads. There's all sorts of different things. Obviously, we might want it to look a little better rather than this little thing up in the corner. We could make it bigger. But leave a like. Let me know in the comments if you want me to continue this series. Let's build this till we make some money from it. And also, if you have some ideas for a Chrome extensions, I would like you to build a Chrome extension. And let me know down in the comments what you're planning to build, how it went for you, what other questions you have. But I appreciate you guys very much and hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks.